Hello YouTube, this is a possible solution to your friends not being able to join your source servers. Um, this also works for other games, I'm not really sure uh, which other games have this problem, but I've only had this problem on source games, so I'm going to teach you how to possibly fix it, and I'm not guaranteeing that it'll work or anything, but I don't know, this is a possible fix and it worked for me. So the first thing that we need to do is obviously port forward, and I know you've heard that a lot, but um, Port forwarding is the first step, and it's it's probably one of the most important, and it leads us to our actual solution. So, in order to do that, you need to find your uh, default gateway so that you can get to your router settings. I already have it bookmarked here, but um, if you want to find that, you need to type you need to get into the command prompt, which is cmd in the search bar, and then just enter. Um, or otherwise, you could probably uh, find it just searching normally. Anyway, um, you type in the command ipconfig and then uh, all of this useful information comes up, but none of it's useful for this video except for default gateway. So you need your default gateway to access your router settings, and the way you do that is you type that default gateway into your browser. So mine was 192.168.1.1. And that one's pretty common, it's most likely that that one will be yours, but it also has different variations. So, um, shut up Warframe. Uh, anyway, you press enter and this will come up, and uh, it's most likely that yours will be, your uh, username will be admin and your password will be password, but I changed mine for security reasons, so just uh, put that in, and then you will be redirected to this page if you have Linksys, otherwise a page that looks very similar if you have any other router. Now what you want to go to first is something um, similar to applications and gaming. Uh, I'm not sure about any other routers, but um, the uh, ports that you want to open are 27,000 to 27,050 on both UDP and TCP. So um, your your port range forward uh, will page will look a lot like this. So just type in valve here. That's that's only for you for your information, and then where it says start, type 27,000, where it says end, type 27,050. When it asks for the protocol, type both, or uh, if you don't have a both option, just put it in twice and put one for TCP and one for UDP. Now, um, the information on the CM on the command prompt, uh, this is where uh, the IP4, or IPv4 address comes in handy. This is this uh, third, third one from the bottom. Um, so it's very similar to your default gateway, except it has a different number on the end. Um, that different number is the only thing that I can put in here. I'm not sure about any other router, but um, that's very important because it asks which computer do I open these ports for. So uh, this right here, uh, IPv4 address, whatever this number back here says, mine, for example, mine says 103, is where you'd put right here, and that's um, and this is the address of your gaming computer. Anyway, I'm going to move on. Um, so you save settings, settings are successful, continue, and um, at that point you can close this. Uh, you have just port forwarded your games, and uh, your source games anyway, those are, those are the only, those are only the ports for source games, you might have to look up different, like, different games have different ports. Anyway, um, now in the search bar type in firewall. Now, Windows Firewall with Advanced Security is what we're going to, so right-click, and it needs to be run as Administrator. So, give yourself administrative rights, blah 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 blah. Now, it will come up to this type of window. You need to go to Inbound Rules, because that is what allows other people to connect to you. Now, I, ha I clearly have a lot, but it already automatically does them, so not all of them are correct. So what you want to do for your source game is new rule. And it'll come up with this little window. It's a program that you want uh, if it's a source game. So next, then you need to find the program path. And in my case, my program path is in computer and it's actually my external hard drive. So go to Steam and then most likely it's in Steam apps. And um, we'll just say common. I'm going to do uh, 
uh, Counter Strike Source, but you can do this with half, or you can do this with all of the Half Life variants, like uh, with Gary's mod and things such as that. Um, but for example, Counter Strike Source, and then the main executable is Half Life 2. Um, so just click that and click Open, and so that's the path that I want to use. Click Next, and then allow the connection. Uh, don't allow it only if it's secure or block the connection, because that would obviously block it in a lot of cases. So allow the connection, then have all of these checked next. Now naming it is just for your information so that you can refer back to it, so I'm just going to name it CSS. Then click finish, and you should be all done. Let's see if it went through. Okay, well here's Counter-Strike Source. Let me refresh it. CSS, there it is, allowing all connections. So, yeah, there you have it. Um, I'm not sure if this will work, but like I said, I did that with my Gary's Mod servers, and it's worked so far. So, um, yeah, there you have it.